This right here is the Wheelock Exceder Fire Alarm Horn Strobe. This was the very first fire alarm device in my collection. Getting this fire alarm in the mail was probably one of the most happiest moments of my childhood as I had wanted a real fire alarm for years and I finally got one. And from that moment forward, look how far I've come today. It's been quite a journey. At the end of the day, the fire alarm hobby has just been a really fun learning experience for me. I've really enjoyed this. The Wheelock Exceder came out in, I think, 2010 or 11, and as you can see, it just looks cool. It's a fire alarm. Why not make it look cool? <laughs> Today, it's coded to code 3 by the fire alarm control panel, and you'll get to see what it looks like when it goes off. This right here is an ADT Unimode 10UD fire alarm control panel. It's a 10 zone conventional control panel. And this is what controls the fire alarm system. This is also hooked up to the board with the Wheelock Exceder. This right here is a Pyrotronics single stroke bell, and it's actually being coded to two stage. Now I'm not going to get into the whole two stage activation thing today. The reason I have it set to two stage is because it creates a cool little slow pulse on the bell. And this is a single stroke bell, so it just makes it sound really cool. You'll see what I'm talking about. If we open up the fire alarm control panel, you'll see the main keypad. On the keypad, one of the buttons is the fire drill button. This button makes the whole fire drill process in a building really easy. You just hold the button, it sets off all the fire alarms, and it doesn't call the fire department. On the button, it says drill hold two seconds, and it's as simple as that. Let's go ahead and test it. Go ahead and silence that. Once everyone's outside, we can go ahead and reset the system and that will shut everything off. As you can see, reset in system and no fire currently at CR Safety. This right here is the Firelight ANN80 Annunciator. It's basically a mini fire alarm control panel that's connected to the main panel. Buildings can get really big, so it's really helpful to have the ability to control basic functions of the fire alarm system from multiple points around the building. And that's what this is used for. As you can see, the fire alarm enunciator also has a drill button, and it says drill hold two seconds. And it's the same thing as the other panel, so we'll go ahead and demonstrate it today. I like testing the fire drill feature from this enunciator, and that's simply because when you press the drill button, the sounder in this enunciator makes a little noise, and I just think it's kind of cool. So obviously it didn't go off though because the key's not in it. Alright, let's go ahead and put the key in and do the fire drill. Here we go. Lastly, this panel has a feature which allows me to hook up a remote fire drill switch. For demonstration, I'm just using a simplex duct detector key switch. I have it programmed so when you put the key in and turn it to test, the alarms will sound, and when you turn the key back to normal and take it out, the alarms will stop sounding. In my opinion, it makes fire drills a lot easier. So we'll go ahead and test that. That was pretty easy. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's system test. I hope you liked this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.